March 6th here in Russia. We're in the Belgrade region. And just leaving the hotel here. On to day two of our first rebuild. Parts container still did not arrive. It just is still stuck at customs. I think we're gonna have a good chance of getting out to date, but it just seems like we don't know. Nobody knows. We're always hopeful for the next day and then it comes and goes. Hello Eugene. Hello. How are you waiting for well, me? Well, for half an hour. Already. Oh. Back to the farm, get as much done as we can. We're missing a few parts like discs, gauge wheels, and one one pivot fix, but we'll be able to get them going. And then we gotta get to a couple other farms so that they know that we're gonna take care of them before seeding. It's mid-morning and um, we've got, as you can tell, all the rear rows hung. We're going through the hubs making sure that we re-grease them, clean them up. We're not changing the seals or bearings on the hub, but uh, they probably need to in about four years again. You can tell that some of the seals are compromised, so there's dirt getting in here. There's one that's still doing okay. We're uh, taking out all these spindles. It's faster actually to torch, to torch off the spindle than to try to knock it out. There, a lot of them are stuck. Like this one, we're, we're able to get out, but a lot of them we didn't. You can see the shafts here. An example of dirt getting into the, into the past the seals. I don't know how this happens, but Something was causing the seal to crack out and dirt got packed behind there. Probably try to replace the worst of them. We only have a couple seals with us that they had in stock. The press wheel arm pivots, they didn't have uh, enough money in the budget to change all the pivots even though these were all stuck. So what we did is we cleaned out the cavity and wire wheeled the pin. It'll work for a while. It'll be free at least for maybe one or two years. Maybe three, but probably two years and then they'll all be stuck again or wore out. You can see what we're doing. Getting all that dirt out of there. They actually didn't even think there was bushings in there when we took it out because the dirt had made just a solid cavity and it was really hard and packed. Here's our Pro Seal pivot kit. We actually put hardened steel bushings in and this face seal. The grease has to go in the cavity of course but then it comes out these grooves and the dirt would also have to go in in these grooves to get in so you've not only got a seal here the original John Deere seal is here and so that's a triple lip it seals just along the pin this one seals not only along the pin but also the face they're actually a grease once a season pivot instead of grease every other day just to keep it free here you can see I'm putting the hubs back together. I don't think I have any that are part, part way in process, but here's the dirt that's getting in the cavity. Not good. This one's really bad. We're replacing these main pins as well. Pins and bushings. There's our spindles with the triple up seals in them. I think you can see it here. So we're putting a triple up seal on the spindles. That's a much better design than, than right here. This one here is just a O-ring. 
So there you can see it's just an O-ring. Not a, not a very good seal. So here he's cleaning out the the press wheel arm pivot. At Lichna. We're making good progress on this as well. They've got all the rows off the mounts. And they're actually have already disassembled pivots. So we'll be on to the front rank next. Eugene, you're playing an important role. What are you, what are you doing? As I said, I'm an assistant. Experienced people around me. I'm just a brake. Ah. So here's a diesel fuel bucket. bucket. A bucket with diesel fuel in it and we're yeah. wiping off the, the shims or spacers for the disc hubs. Yeah, you see they're full of... They're either full of grease, or grease. and grease. There's the spindle nuts. It's just good to start over and have clean grease in there. Slava's got, uh, he's cleaning out the hubs. You can see that sometimes there's clean grease in there, but sometimes it's dirty. And he's making sure they're clean, cleaned out. And then we'll drop them back in. We're using the Most Milwaukee grease gun, yeah. much faster. Yeah. These things are maintenance hogs, so we're minimizing the amount of maintenance. Here they're assembling, putting these, Pushings and pins in. They're putting these in in this station. Doing a good job, at least now. We're gonna get rid of these tabs. We're gonna put the vanilla seed tabs on. That's these ones. So a much better tab. We actually drilled a second hole so that we get them up a little bit and longer life. They can drop it back down after a year or two. They're actually pulling, they decided to pull the rolls off the machine so it's easier to hammer in the bushings and other things like that, which is valid. Seems like they're doing a pretty good job at it. 10 a.m., we started at 8, and I'm optimistic we're gonna get this mostly done today. We've got a lot left to do, but it's going good. We still don't have parts out of custom, so we're missing discs for this job. We're using parts that we had in stock in Russia already. But uh, we're missing a few things for this job. We have three more rebuilds to do, and it's still we need all the pretty much all the parts for those rebuilds. And spring is coming really fast. Uh, spring seeding, they want to be in the field in a couple days. So hopefully we can get those out of customs here today and uh, be able to work on it this weekend. Well, we're finally assembling full row units. You can see here. Got, I showed them how to put the whole row unit together. We got the depth shafts going in, the heavy duty press and closing wheel springs. As I stated in another video, we did the Pro Seal kit here. They're putting the new depth arms on. So, yeah, going right down the line. Now it's really rolling. We'll start putting these hubs on simultaneously as we get help. We're about to put on the uh, hubs here. He's on. You put the washer on first. We've uh, we filled the cavity full of grease and now we're going to drop on the spacer. And then once the hub goes on, the nut goes on. See, there is a right and a left hand threaded spindle. So you want to make sure you get the right spindle inside. The right or the left, so the correct spindle. So we'll drop all these on. Here. We uh, inspected these seals, and for the most part, they're looking okay, but some of them are not the best. But what do you do when you don't have any to replace them with? I think we had three out of the hole for the whole drill. Spindle nut on. It's the right hand spindle nut because there's no little notch in it. There's a groove on the left hand ones. And the, again, these are directional. Yes. Oh, no. We had a casualty. My God. How, how could you drop it? I, I, I thought I, I, I put it. I'm irresponsible American. Seems like only small challenges remain. Be hitting little things and then all of a sudden everybody's at a standstill. Let's do something fun and try a new tool. This tool was actually forgotten by me in my luggage 
and so I had to get it machined here and so a very good Russian machinist made these parts for me we got the drawings printed and we took them over there and so now we have our install tool we had a couple seals go bad so as you can see this one's toast ground down thankfully thankfully they had a few replacement seals from John Deere just enough we're gonna do three of them so let's get going bad news so here was the bad seals took three of them off they're all cracked and garbage okay. put the seal down like this I can see the one change that the farmer who tried this first without us having a lot of experience with this tool said was we needed to attach something on the bottom so that it would hold it into a vise or something and he was spot on so that's what we did we welded a nut on but you can tell it's going on evenly and it's about there there it's nice and tight I think it's on yeah what do you think it leaks now so it looks good Yeah, it's on evenly all the way around. It's not twisted, it's not distorted. It's actually a really nice fit. So that was a success. This tool rocks. Good job, Derek. Good job, Reddy. So there, we have a, another seal installed and that was pretty fast. If the boss signs off, then it's a good deal, right? Eh? We're just about done here. The guys all went home. It's 5 o'clock. We got most of the rows hung. They're going to finish it up once we get the parts from customs. I'm just finishing tightening a couple hubs since I'm taking this torque wrench with me. We've got a torque tool tells us how tight to torque the uh, spindle nut. So that's what we're doing now. I just gotta get that done. And then we gotta pick up all of our tools, which is gonna take us a while. I'll show you how this works though. It should beep once we get close. This is where if I weighed more, it probably helps. And then once it beeps solid, or the lights turn solid as well, then we know it's the proper torque. So I think they've got all these other ones, right? This one? They were using the impacts just to snug them up and they took the high torque impact and uh, unfortunately over tightened it. So what it does is it, it compresses the spindle because this is going into a tapered machined housing and so it presses here and then all of a sudden you can't get to your depth shaft to go in. So I don't know what they did to fix it but that happened once today. Don't use an impact, just put it on by hand and use a torque wrench. 48 row machine, took a while. Thanks to Eugene for helping. Mm -hmm. You've done a great job. Hi, yes. More than just talking. Apprentice. You're good at talking, but so you're also good at helping. It's my uh, dual functionality. First is to earn money. And then a waste of time. Uh -huh. And then, oh, uh, look at we could have forgotten that beauty. It's me also. It's Eugene. We could have forgotten our wonderful USA Wilton yeah. Hammer yeah. Hiding. lifetime warranty. Maybe they... Now we have to find all of our tools. Yeah, we have to look in this around. maze. Do you need this hammer? No. I don't need any hammers. Uh -huh. Well, we're finally all packed. That took a while. I think I like working on drills better than packing. Hopefully it closes. 
All right. Yeah. Well, goodbye. We are, we are getting out of here and we're tired. Well, smiling. Smiling, but on, on to our next hopeless situation. But we must uh, admit to each other that we did our best in these two days. Yes, we did. 